talking to this lovely lady, uh, Cynthia. She's telling me about, tell me about your brother again. I thought that was pretty interesting. Well, I was saying that my brother was 22 years old when he got in trouble. He never even had a traffic ticket that I recall. And he was in something that just happened. And it was not, from what I can understand, planned or anything, but he was involved in the murder. He didn't commit the murder, but he was there. So he's like in a position of being an aider and a better. And he got life without the possibility of parole. Oh my God. And my brother has been in prison for 40 years. And he just turned 62 this past Monday, so. That is sad. It's been 40 years he's been in prison. That's terrible. And he's so, He's not doesn't even remember, basically, you know, many things right. that went on when he was 22 years old, as none of us do. Right. None of us will remember. But he's such a different person. He reads, writes, and speaks Arabic. He, he uh, does talks. They, they've got things on him on uh, YouTube where he's trying to help the youth. What, what's his name? Sterling Jones. They need to free Sterling Jones. I think so, too. They need to free Sterling Jones. That's what I want more than anything in this life. I mean, we got leaders and politicians more corrupt on a uh, on a, a monthly basis Dealing than what he's ever done in his entire life. And, and all because probably the color of his skin too plays a factor too at I'm that sure. time. Sure. But people need to know that when things like this happen, not just my brother went to prison, but my entire family. We have to know the entire family goes. We love him very much. I still visit him. Ooh, say that again. I said our entire family went to prison, not just but my See, they, the justice system needs to know that when you take somebody's child, you take you 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 cut the whole family. I'm not making light of anything that happened to the person whose life was taken, but and I, I feel so from the very first time that I ever heard of any of this going on some 40 years ago that my brother and whomever was involved in this situation. I feel so badly for the people who've lost their child. Right. I do. I feel badly, but also I watched my mom and dad. Lose their child. Yeah. My and baby, he, he didn't my even... My little brother. I'm sorry to hear that. So, there are a lot of things that we need to really think about what's really right and wrong. God bless you, Cynthia. Thank you. You're all Thank right you. with me.